Remember, the next video after this part has already been made and is live now on my Patreon for you to see straight after you've watched this. Fully voice acted, soundtracks, and with my signature editing up for early access to the incredible 4,800 plus patrons who are now enjoying exclusive early access episodes before anyone else. Literally, right now. So join now and see why your fellow fans are going crazy in the comments. But before we continue, today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, the first game to bring a true console level experience to your phone with hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 600 champions blessed with unique skills. My personal top three champions have to be Arbiter, Deacon Armstrong and Lydia the Death Siren, all three being god tier champions that will wreck anyone. But here's the big news, Raid has just released a super powered legendary version of Death Knight 2. The whole Raid community has been anticipating this and the ultimate Death Knight is everything we hope for. And everyone can get him for free by logging in and playing Raid for 7 days between now and October 27th and there's more as using the DK Rises promo code you'll get a bunch of free items to instantly level your new strongest champion all the way to level 50 5 star ascension. But wait! Right now Raid is also running an amazing trick or treat promotion for Halloween where you can win a bunch of real life and in game prizes including $1000 of Amazon gift cards and some of the best epic and legendary Halloween champions. All free and all you need is your Raid player ID. Just download Raid with my link in the description and head to trickortreat.plarium.com from there enter your details and then spin the wheel to get your prize. This event runs only from October 15th to November 5th and only new players can win a prize. Just click my link in the description or scan my QR code and you'll get $30 of unique bonuses. We're talking a free champion Burgess, 200k silver, 1 energy refill, 1 XP boost and 1 ancient shard. All this treasure will be waiting for you here, click the link in the description and I'll see you there. So our story continues with Vegito standing in his new demonic form, looking into the sky with a pleasant smirk, reflecting on the events that just happened last chapter. With the saying letting out, <laughs> what a fine day, and this energy, what a treat that was, so powerful, so pure, but even that demon's energy from the sword had quite the impact also. This battle has taken me to all new heights I didn't think were possible, Madara, surely. Surely now I must be able to put a dent in that priest and his toddler owner by now. <laughs> Before they're looking back down and walking straight towards the deceased Madara. Face first in the dirt, a shadow of the legendary status as the second of the five strongest. As beside him, stabbed into the ground, is the sword that was given to him by Vegito himself. Vegito would then eventually reach the second and grab onto the sword formerly owned by him, pulling it out of the ground before then with a big sigh blowing a puff of air into the sky as if preparing himself for something, letting out, well, here goes nothing, and immediately just like that, Ultra Vegeta would then slam back the edge of the sword into his skull, reattaching his demon horn in the process and notably without a drop of blood. <coughs> but on the inside, comedically, an inner Vegito screeches like a bat in pain from the obviously brutal action, as with a less than impressed face, the god killer would mutter, God that hurt. Arch, remind me never to do that again! <sighs> Before instantly, now having completed eliminating the second, Vegito powers back down to base. And once we see his face again, looking down as he does so, the two horns from his head have retracted also, leaving Vegito now to think in silence. <sighs> Looks like the transformation got rid of my shirt too. Damn it, I hate walking around so exposed. 
Looks like I'll need to make another trip to get some new gear. I could use a little more battle experience with that new form of mine anyway. Before then leading to Vegito, then looking to the sky with a serious look and continuing. Now all that's left are those two remaining runts anyway. Gods of destruction or not, they are hardly worth chasing after in a hurry. I'll get to them soon enough, but right now, I need a goddamn break after that fiasco. That nightmare has aged me by decades. As behind him, of course, images of the last remaining gods, Iwan and Mule, are seen. Staff! And instantly, within the palm of Vegito, the angel staff given to him by Whis then reappears after a long absence. And with his mouth open wide, he begins to command the staff, saying, Take me to the next! Wait! But suddenly, behind Vegito on the ground, a weakened but familiar voice calls for his halt. And when we finally see who it is from, it is from, of course, the barely still breathing Madara, who inexplicably remains clinging to his life. Still on the ground, with one eye open, as he just ominously lets out... Hear my words. You... You're making a mistake, Vegito. A big mistake. <laughs> making Vegito turn his head at first in curiosity. Before turning his whole body, holding his arms, and confusedly asking... Now what's this? You can still talk, Madara? Impressive. Maybe you really have earned the title of second of the five strongest. But I don't remember leaving a trace of energy behind. So what gives? <laughs> a smirk would soon then come across the second's face, as he says with blood leaking from his mouth, Well... They did say not to underestimate me, Saiyan, but those demon flames I unleashed on you were made of my energy too. And just before you took everything from me, I reversed what little energy I cast on those flames to keep me breathing. That's why those flames aren't still burning to this very moment. Before his face slowly then drops to one more in pain, as he continues, but that isn't important anymore. I couldn't care less if you kill me now. I've lived for long enough. Far too long, in fact. And with what little energy I have now, I will die once I utter these final words anyway. But you should quit while you're ahead, Vegito. You will never accomplish your mission of getting rid of all the gods out there, God Killer. The destroyers, yes. But you will never get past the final three of the strongest. Ha! <laughs> and much less what lies even beyond, my naive little friend. <gasps> but this last line from the second is what piques Vegito's curiosity more, as he asks with a confused look. What lies beyond? What nonsense are you saying now? After the last two destroys are taken care of, and the rest of you three, only Zeno and the Grand Priest, and maybe that supposed Kronoa, will be the last gods on my kill list. <laughs> but this response from Vegito only brings a faint laughter from the quickly fading Madara. As he replies, Kronoa. <laughs> so you do know of at least one of the other gods. My dear Vegito, do you really think she's the only god that exists outside these realms? Just where do you think us five even reside? I can tell you, not in these puny universes ran by that child. Learn soon, God Killer. Spout all you want about getting your useless revenge on the gods that exist here. 
But if you really think you will stop all gods from ruling over you pathetic mortals, then you're in for a shock. <laughs> Until suddenly, the smile begins to slowly disappear from Madara's face. His eyes close even more, and he suddenly becomes silent. The second then finally collapses on his face. His energy, now for sure all gone, and now finally dead. Adding one more notch onto Vegito's god-killing list. In for a shock! Leaving the base Vegito now to just stare in silence, trying to make sense of what strange claims the second made in his final breaths, before then turning his back to the deceased god and then responding, If there truly are more and more powerful gods out there, then my answer is... And with his response unfinished, Vegeta would instead now hold out his left hand instead of his staff, and in front of him as a result, a time portal would then finally open. And Vegito, just before leaving forever, would then finally answer... My answer is... That I will just become even stronger, Madara. Rest in peace. Before then vanishing along with the time portal as it closes behind him. Leaving Madara's unmoving body all alone on the battlefield, ready to begin rotting. But only moments later, as Vegito completely leaves, two new sets of mysterious feet descend down to the battlefield. And shockingly, the figure is then revealed to be none other than Iwan, the same god that was thought to have run off with Mule once Vegito had transformed. And with his expected unmoving poker face, Iwan would say, How unsightly of you, Madara. I truly expected more of you. I had anticipated once myself and Mule had left, you would have been able to put an end to that mortal once and for all. But I guess this will work out best for me in the end. Isn't that right? Gods! <laughs> As suddenly, in a shocking turn of events, the first of the five strongest is seen once again. Thought to be dead after being defeated by Vegito, and by the looks of his stance and lifeless eyes, he may yet still be, as he just lets out incoherent groans, as somehow he has become completely reanimated. But back with Vegito, a time portal opens in the midst of space, in an unknown universe, and in an unknown timeline. Soon, then casually stepping out without fear, until realizing just how alarmingly alone he is wherever he has taken himself. <laughs> Looking around, Vegeta would begin wondering, Now where have these rings taken me now? I thought I intended on going far into the future, into a universe where hopefully a powerful god would exist. But it seems, just imagining a timeline like that won't work. I guess I can only truly go into the past reliably. But even with that said, the question still remains on Vegito's mind concerning where he even is. And for the sake of it, Vegito begins closing his eyes, trying his best to detect the nearest powerful life form. <laughs> but suddenly, a shocking revelation comes to Vegito, but it isn't the detection of a powerful warrior, but instead... How peculiar! Wherever this universe is, there isn't a single sign of life anywhere! There are no planets anymore, it seems. Could the universe really exist without any life? What could have happened to wipe them all out? Huh. Guess it's not my problem. What? But before Vegito could carry on his unbothered stance, 
As Vegito looks behind, he suddenly sees the remains of what seems like planets completely annihilated, with debris and planetary matter scattering all over the surrounding area. <coughs> but despite this, Vegito would then open a portal anyway, citing something bad happened here. Maybe there was a god after all. They don't seem to be here anymore. So there's no use for me being here. And so Vegeta would begin walking towards the time portal again before... <laughs> what the hell is that? But suddenly, Vegeta would see from the vacuum of space a powerful energy beam shooting straight towards him. Get lost! Immediately then swiping his angel star to knock away the energy beam. What? Who the? But even more shockingly, as Vegeta cockily hits the beam away with ease, it all appears to be a diversion as suddenly a mystery figure shoots down and enters the portal before Vegito. Where, where the hell did he come from? Leaving Vegito gobsmacked as he stares in disbelief at the rapid turn of events. <laughs> Until the god killer's mood soon changes. As angered, he grumbles. Think you can make a fool of me? Get back here! Before rushing into the portal himself, after whoever this mystery assailant was. And as Vegito lands on the ground of a new planet in yet another unknown universe, far off, a dark humanoid silhouette would appear before him, leading to Vegito shouting out, You there! Who the hell do you think you are hitching a ride in my time portal without my permission? You better go back to whatever mess that timeline was before I put you down forever. <laughs> but as we finally see who the mystery figure is, it is unbelievably revealed to be none other than Zykor, the third son of Son Goku. Somehow, Vegito had entered the Dragon Ball AF timeline, but seemingly far into the future of it, as Zykor angrily lets out, <laughs> What is this place? I've definitely not seen a planet like this before. Where the hell am I? Could there at least be finally a worthy challenger for myself here? Continuing to look around oblivious of the god killer right behind him, Zaiku would carry on. <laughs> this smell. Gods have been here. Energy still remains all over this universe. There's no doubt about it. I finally found a way to escape, just like Mother had said. But Vegito... Now observing closely, the mystery figure in front would soon then comment, <laughs> Wait a second here. He looks familiar. That might be the wrong color, but isn't that Goku's gi? Huh? Goku? But immediately, the mention of Zykor's father's name suddenly garners the half saiyan's attention. Who the hell could know his name here? Quickly turning his head now towards the sound waves in haste, before facing Vegito and instantly asking, How? Tell me how you know that name, mortal. Tell me how you knew of my father. What? Goku is your father? Leaving Vegito understandably full of shock with the most random of revelations remaining arms folded by his head and facial expression comedically enlarged as he reacts to the information. <laughs> but this response serves only to confuse Zykor, as he thinks, Wait, this fool doesn't even know father's most powerful son? How? But eventually, Vegito's face would then return back to normal, and he would respond in full, <laughs> Listen, kid, 
I have no idea what your anger is, but Son Goku only had two sons. So unless you're some goth version of Gohan or Goten, you've been lied to. But I have to say, I'm more shocked as to why someone from a random universe far into the future would even know his name. Just where did that damn time ring take me? <laughs> but in response to this, out of nowhere, Zyko begins to get furiously angry, as electricity spontaneously begins to surround his body, and he grumbles, Goten, Gohan, no, I was his only real son, how dare you, are you some kind of fool, you know where you went, you went to Universe 7! The only question is, is where the hell are we now? I entered that portal in search of a new challenge. No more life exists where I'm from, and hasn't for hundreds of years. I hope there would be new fighters here, but all I can see is you. But Vegito instantly is shocked only by the first admission. No longer folding his arms and almost staggering back, he would ask, That... that place was Universe 7? How... why is there no life in that universe, kid? Before Vegito's face would then lower and get more serious, as he stares into Zyko's eyes and adds, What? Did you do to planet Earth, kid? <laughs> to which immediately, Zyko would then begin gritting madly and explain finally, What did I do? I killed every last one of those weak Earthlings. First, I started with my father, then his two illegitimate children. Then the Prince of Saiyans and his family too. Everyone, every single being on that planet fell to my hand. And once I finished and blew it up, I went and did the same to every other planet I could find too. For centuries, I would grow my power, annihilating anything and everything else that existed. It's annoying. But there was barely anyone who could even make me break a sweat. Apart from this one strange cat who appeared one day claiming to be a god. But he too was defeated. Though he escaped somewhere before I could land the finishing blow. But at least he gave me useful information. Who knew I was in the seventh of twelve different universes? I had been waiting all this time for a way to access them. And finally, it seems you have given me a way in. Ha <laughs> What did you just say? But as we look back at the God Killer, he is far from a laughing mood. As veins begin to pop all over his forehead, a strange dark energy begins to change the atmosphere around him. And with his teeth now gritted, trying to hold in his evident rage, he would just grumble. You killed them all! <laughs> and as if reacting all over again to the rage he felt from the gods taking away his loved ones, Vegito roars into the sky, powering up, instantly becoming what seems like a Super Saiyan 2, but now completely coated in black lightning instead of blue. <laughs> you pay! Instantly then rushing straight for Zykor with vengeance on his mind. Yeah! And eventually, he does land on the face of Zykor. But unfortunately, he doesn't seem to do much, with the hybrid Saiyan just smiling as he gets hit, letting out... Huh. Interesting. So you too are one of Father's kind. 
for a moment, puzzling Vegito as he thinks, What the hell? With my level of power now, this can't be! <laughs> Sorry, Saiyan, but this is reality. As Zyko then quickly then moves away Vegito's fist before... Yeah! Buzz off! Brutally then headbutting Vegito straight in the face, point blank. <laughs> Sending the God Killer flying backwards in pain as blood shoots out of his grimmest mouth. <laughs> Surprised your skull didn't burst from that. Let's test just how sturdy you really are. Swiping his arm back with a closing palm with what looks like an energy wall beginning to be produced. <laughs> and unbelievably with one blast straight out of the playbook of Vegeta, Zykor blasts Vegito straight through his torso. <laughs> And instantly, in the aftermath, a violent scene of Vegito, now back in base, is seen, wide-eyed, floating back with of course now a gaping wide hole in the middle of his body, spewing blood all over as we see a peek right through onto the other side. <coughs> Eventually leaving the practically dead Vegito to land on his back in silence, as Zykor watches on confirming his kill. <laughs> and now looking down on his latest victim, an unimpressed Zykor would let out, Say it or not, you're no different in the end to the rest of those blonde hair and blue eyed brats. Just as fragile and just as pathetic. And unfortunately, just like the rest of your inferior race, you two are no challenge for me. <laughs> But soon with his target eliminated, Zykor turns his attention to the sky and realizes... What's this? I can smell the presence of gods here. Where am I? Not Universe 7 anymore, that's for sure. And that means... That means there's a whole lot more to kill and destroy around here! <laughs> yeah! Instantly then shooting off into the sky with excitement and ferocity, leaving Vegeta for dead like a thoughtless matter. And as we zoom in close on the flying Zykor, a keen smile can be seen as he contemplates... I wonder... Just what strong warriors await me here? Mother always told me our universe was one of the weakest there was. Surely, a true challenge must be out there. One greater than even father. As behind, an image of his late father in his AF clothing appears. <coughs> But this smile is soon cut short once something shocking appears right in front of the eyes of Zykor. What the? How are you? Leaving the third son near enough stunned into silence as in front, a very familiar hairstyle appears. <laughs> and of course, once we see from Zykor's side, it is revealed to be none other than Vegito. His arms folded with a cocky smile as he lets out. That attack wasn't bad, brat. I'm starting to believe maybe you are a Saiyan after all. Welcome to the club. Before suddenly, the hole within Vegito's torso begins to transition to goo, and then eventually completely close up in true margin style. <laughs> Good as new! What? <laughs> Leaving a bemused Zykor to now watch on in shock, never having seen anything like this, much less from a fellow Saiyan. With the shock now reaching a boiling point, Zykor would then yell out, You! You are no Saiyan! What are you? Answer me now! 
and Vegito, loving the look of confusion seen on Zyko's face, would yell back, Oh, I am most definitely a Saiyan kid, but I've heard more than once you calling us an inferior race. You know if you really were Goku-san, you do realize that would make you part Saiyan too, right? Tch, I knew you had lost the plot calling yourself Kakarot-san. I am my father's son! But this passing comment denying Zyko's heritage instantly just pushes the half Saiyan over the edge as he releases a scream into the heavens before becoming surrounded in an intense ball of energy that gives even Vegito a shock. As finally... You'll eat those words, Saiyan! As suddenly, Zyko reaches an all new form, powered up to the brim with his hair now fully spiked and black accents now longer and sharper too, as surrounding him a familiar black lightning emerges. Whoa! And initially, Vegito is immediately half confused as he comes to realize internally, wait a second. That's a Super Saiyan transformation, all right? No doubt about it. His power just shot through the roof. Could he really be my son? But before Vegito can think anymore, Zyko begins his attack already enraged in his new form. And not wanting to be outdone, Vegito instantly then transforms into a form of his own but his being Super Saiyan Blue. <laughs> Let's see you handle something a little stronger than a Super Saiyan brat. Instantly blocking Zyko's first attack. Silent Saiyan! <laughs> but despite the initial overconfidence, it's quickly interrupted by Zyko slamming his fist with speed right into the God Killer's gut. Before following up with a right hook that lands with devastating impact also. Damn! Leaving Vegito noticing the surprising strength of his foe, thinking, this kid isn't normal. He looks like he's only a Super Saiyan 2 at most, but he's keeping up with me in blue! <laughs> but not trying to let up at all, Zyko continues the chase and... <laughs> slamming his right fist onto Vegito once again. Sending the God Killer's body instantly plummeting straight towards the ground and ready for a big crash landing. <laughs> But just before Vegito lands on the planet's surface, he looks up with a cunning smile and lets out, Right, that's enough playing with this kid. Time to push this to Kaioken! <laughs> Shooting off instantly, just inches away from the ground, with the signature sound of Kaioken blaring off as he does so until... <laughs> turning his body around and slamming a soccer kick right down onto the unsuspecting Zyko. <laughs> before even quicker than Vegito before him, Zyko now lands flush with a loud crash right into a mountain face. <laughs> but it's not long for the feared villain of the AF series to break out just barely. One eye open, but full of annoyance. <laughs> How dare he! What kind of Saiyan form is that? Blue hair? Ridiculous. I don't know how this mortal knows my father, but he will not live to tell me how. This ends here! <laughs> But looking down, Vegeta would just giggle, beginning to enjoy the battle with his so-called son. As he comments, Looks like the kid is getting mad. 
He may have yet another form of his sleep. Just what I need. <laughs> Before then wiping the blood off his chin and saying with a smirk, I have to admit, there is something very familiar about fighting this guy. He's definitely got some link to Kakarot. I wonder. <laughs> As Vegeta thinks on the resemblance, Zykor begins powering up with a frightening roar. His power alone blowing apart any debris which covered him. Kame! Kame! But shockingly, the power up doesn't turn out to be for a new form, but instead to do a very Goku esque move as a bright blue ball of energy slowly begins forming in the palms of Zyko. <laughs> immediately surprising Vegito, who recognizes the attack from afar, immediately and comments, Whoa there! He knows the Kamehameha wave? This kid. He might actually have been telling the truth. My son, eh? <laughs> before Vegito would then place his own hands to do his own Kamehameha position and say, Well, if I was going to fight Gohan or Goten, I guess this is the way I'd end the battle too. Kame! Kame! complete synchronization, the God Killer and Zykor would both then fire off their respective energy waves at the exact same time, each with unfathomable intensity and power. <laughs> Leading to a very Goku vs Vegeta scene as Zykor blasts from the ground and Vegito blasts from the sky, clashing together to create a truly Planet trembling energy beam collision. You will die like the rest of them! Causing Zykor, who has never tasted defeat, to push further and further with all his might to beat the mystery Saiyan. <laughs> While Vegito, who just continues his attack with an unbothered smirk, would say quietly, Relax, son. Don't overestimate your abilities. <laughs> but almost in a complete defiance to his would be father, Zyko would sound off an even more thunderous roar, as his beam of energy immediately increases in power and size at the drop of a hat. <laughs> Whoa! And this pushback in power is so sudden and fast, it even begins enveloping Vegito as if about to destroy him like Cell was. But all through it all, Vegito just remains smiling and calm. That is until a sinister smirk eventually reaches his face and he says, <laughs> It's a shame that this is as much as you could do. Clearly the versions of me over in your timeline were total weaklings. I bet they couldn't even use Ultra Instinct! And suddenly, in a show of dominance, Vegeta would enter his mastered Ultra Instinct form, surrounding himself in a white aura as his hair quickly changes to a silvery white in tone. <laughs> Shocking Zykor as suddenly the power becomes untenable as he tries his best to push back. <laughs> what? What happened? Where is this power coming from? <laughs> but eventually, the power of Vegito proves far too much, and Vegito's Kamehameha flattens Zykor onto the ground, his own beam now completely dissipated from before. In a massive explosion that nearly decimates the very planet they are on, Zykor is defeated, trapped under a raging sun of blue energy covered in black lightning. 
And in the end, a massive dust cloud is left behind in the aftermath of the explosion, with no sign of the demi Saiyan until... <laughs> Finally, with his body all beaten, his top torn, and leaking blood from every nook and cranny, Zykor appears, just barely able to move, and back in base form, having been well and truly defeated. But with the last of his energy, barely able to even open either of his bloodshot eyes, he mutters, How? How could I have been defeated by a Saiyan? Father, who is he? As Zykor asked this rhetorical question to his now non-existent father, Vegito would slowly descend to the ground with a small thud, before walking over slowly to the now down Zykor. And once in front of him, covered in his divine white key and still in his mastered ultra instinct form, he would extend his hand out to help Zykor up before finally revealing... Kid! Stop calling out your damn dad. I am your father. I am the fusion of Goku and Vegeta. What? And the pain-stricken Zykor, despite his state, would instantly let out his shock, whispering with his low energy, No, that can't be. I killed both of you. But this energy, it's undeniable. I can sense you, father. I can sense Goku. <laughs> and now having accepted his defeat and who the figure in front of him is, Zyka would let out with a smile and say, I should have known. The only Saiyan who could have defeated me, father. You truly are something. Before immediately, the father and son would finally grab hands of each other, as a smiling Vegito would begin pulling his third son up, just looking down with a genuine sense of sane pride and saying, You got some real power, kid. I don't doubt for a second you are my son. You're a chip of the old block. But something must have led you astray in your timeline to make you go down the path you did. I don't know the details, but what I will do is give you your own time ring to make things right. All you'll need to do is find a Namekian with a set of Dragon Balls to bring back to your universe. And from there, you can wish everyone back. That will be your first task. And the second will be accepting your Saiyan heritage, kid. Why are you even denying it with your kind of power? Is it because your mother was an Earthling? Because neither Gohan nor Goten had a problem with that. <laughs> and Zykor, seemingly agreeing, would then just respond, Make things right. Guess I have no choice now, do I, father? But no, my mother was no Earthling. She was a goddess, the Western Supreme Kai. <gasps> uh, God! But suddenly, as soon as Vegito hears this final small detail, something inadvertently snaps from within. My head! And in response, all he can do is grab onto his skull before... <laughs> Out of nowhere, one horn suddenly bursts forth from his skull uninvited. <laughs> Father? And immediately, without many real words being said, Vegeta would instantly move his hand away from his confused son. What? What's happening? What are you doing? Before immediately then placing a palm in front of Zykor and then... Hakai! The one-horned Vegito would then out of nowhere shout the chant of the destroyers. And 
just like that, Zykor, the third son of Goku, the villain of Dragon Ball AF, is erased forever. His last ever words just being, Father, why? You gods will die! And once done, Vegito loses himself completely. His pupils disappearing as he screams a demonic yell, and without knowing, as if ingrained within him, claims war against the gods once again. Even ones who are his own blood. But as Vegito screams, elsewhere, in a strange realm, a silhouette is seen surrounded in roaring flames. And as we get closer, we see his menacingly large, bold presence, not knowing who it could be until... <laughs> Vegito! And standing, almost as equally as angry as the God Killer, is Jiren the Grey. Now having been locked in the time chamber for decades, his body pumped to the max and full of uncontrollable power. While notably on his head exists yet another demon horn. But just what does all this mean? But that was it for today's video guys, and if you made it this far, leave me a hashtag Jiren in the comments down below, and let me know just what you think is going to happen with Jiren, now that this completely unexpected development has been made. Or you can just find out what happens right now on my Patreon, where you can see the full next video, fully voice acted, soundtracked, and edited for you to enjoy with over 4,800 plus other fans as well as getting access to 250 plus other fan mangas too. It's the deal of the century.